Hi, this is a video training on plants, and I was just um, potting this beautiful peace lily with gorgeous foliage, and I was, uh, it had all this soil was massed up above the plant here, like up to this level, covering all of this area, and at the bottom, look at that, it's so root bound. So, um, I actually found this, and then I realized it has all this soil. So what I did was I gently teased off the soil here, and I'm going to loosen the roots here so that, because right now they're running around in circles, and even if you pot it in fresh soil, it's still going to be bound up. So we just want to gently loosen it so that there's great... Um, so that the, yeah, a lot of the roots are just really way coming out. And then I'm going to put some of this soil down at the bottom. I actually already have drainage and soil up to about this area here. And I'm going to test this. And it's up a little bit, so actually I have a little too much soil. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that out. I want enough soil underneath this so that it's going to have room to grow out into the soil. And then I want a container big enough that it, there's room around the edge for soil so it can stay in that container for a while. So I think what we want is we want it at a level where the, um, the central area is still gonna be below the pot. So if it's watered here, it doesn't spill over. Some people will pot things so that it's way up high like this. And then when they water it, it spills out the side instead of going down in the plant. So, um, and then I wanted to show you on this plant, it's a gorgeous calathea. Look at the backs of the leaves. And there, you can't, I don't know if you can tell. It's like, um, yeah, anyway, they're a little soft. Some of the, um, varieties of this actually have hairs on the back and I was looking to see if they do. This one doesn't, but it's just nice and soft. And look at this beautiful variegated foliage. I love it. So this one, this is this um, actually got a little waterlogged. We're having to address our watering system, but you can see it's not as developed in the roots here that there are roots here. So again, I'm going to tease the roots out, kind of so they're sticking out and loosened. And then I'm going to check here. This is a little, these, I don't know if these came from the same grower. They came from the same vendor, but they don't grow all of the plants. They just, um, so I'm going to tease some of the soil from right in this middle area and just make sure it's not covering up that root ball too much. And then I'm going to test it down in the pot. It looks great. And then we're going to fill around with soil, packing it in so that it's really firm. And with this one, I'm going to pack it with dry soil. This one is just perfectly moist, so I'm going to use the top of the soil from before, plus some extra soil that has some um, uh, fertilizer, long release fertilizer is what we use. So anyway, enjoy your plants. Those are just some ideas when you buy them, what to look for and how to repot them.